I will tell you the two downsides. One is this knob is slightly bent. I corrected it just a little bit. It was bent a little bit worse, but I didn't want to bend it enough to break it. Second and the worst downside is the fact that the compartment door for the AC cord storage place is missing. It does have the battery compartment though, so what I did is I got a piece of flooring, a piece of spare flooring and cut it to size and I just kind of stick it on in there like that. Study up. <clears throat> Another view of the bottom. It's got a carry handle. Right here, we got, slowly zooming in, we got external speaker and headphone, auxiliary input, remote, mic. And then, here's the machine itself. It's of a grayish brownish color, the main plastic case. Um, it's interesting. So I bet it's still recording even though I pushed the button because I'm trying to adjust the exposure here and it is still recording, annoyingly enough. Now this is different. It's the way this is colored is kind of goldish. And it's the way it says the letters is the other way around. Blurryly, we'll here see that. Can't even see anything. AC off, volume, tone. It's written in white. Monitor off, ALC for automatic level control of the meter. And these parts are written in black. We've got a little counter right there. Very nice. Inject. It's a telephone recorder. Look at me, man. The thing is, it's too bright. Now I can see telephone. Oh, AVAEA. Much better. See other uh, little holes for the vent. I like to prop it up on its handle so I can easily plug jacks in. Then we can make a recording and see if the meter moves to the sound. I'm using automatic level control. <clears throat> then we can make a recording and see if the meter moves to the sound. I'm using automatic level control. Um, of course, we have to have the uh, dryer on in the background, you know, or the washer, in order to interfere with the recording. But I will let you know that this is an AC bias recorder. That's right, AC bias. So that's very good. When it's in position, it's manual level control. So the level up more. The level will set up all the way now. Set lower than this monitor, which is just like it always is. It works as like you hear the what's being recorded through the speaker. You can get feedback if you want. And this also can be stood up like this. I'm now recording off a reel to reel. This reel to reel was originally recorded off the radio. And it's a good high quality source, this reader reel, where I can record onto this cassette to show a music recording quality. The Akai X360D. Yes, a very nice deck. I think it just needs a new motor run capacitor for the 7.5 speed. Now let's hear the results. Neat, 
isn't it? because of the tape on the rear of him. Oh yeah, by the way, the original belt is good. Oh yeah, just I forgot to tell. The only thing I had to do to fix this 10 minute machine, get the little joke, was replace the leaky capacitor, which is right here. This is this little guy right here. And there he is. It was a leaky capacitor that caused the um, the amp on here. The amp was working in the way of hearing the sound come through in the way of the amplifier's operation, but the leaky capacitor prevented much of the sound from the tape head from coming through, so you could barely hear the sound from the tape even with the volume all the way up, thanks to that capacitor. 